Henrik Amberg, Admiral Bulldog, Trollhättan, Sweden. Joachim Akterhall, Aki, Gothenburg, Sweden. Jerry Lundqvist, EGM, Sweden, Westeros. Jonathan Berg, Loda, Gothenburg, Sweden. Gustav Magnusson, S4, Stockholm, Sweden. Welcome to the International. Stay away, dude. S4 still, like, he, 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 yeah, Blink Lasso. Never used it before. Misery got a good pick up and dragged him back again, though. But then the raw S4. Look at that damage. Naga has no fun. EGM, he doesn't have another control to warn him. Blocks their path. One ward to stop the wall. Because God doesn't have his dragon form, and there it is. He blinks it instantly. Raw, perfect timing. He got dragged back. Naga will throw the oldie, and then load up. Five man call down, and turns on the flight, turns up the heat. And LGD International, they're just dying everywhere across the map. He's, he's headed north, he can't head south, it's just not safe anymore. Not safe. And they and found Brax. He's gonna go down Brax here. That's it to load GG. GG is called. Alliance will take out the game 2-0. Chorm with the first plug. And actually EGM picks up Faith as well on the small camp. Very difficult to get the kill. And again EGM, he's gonna get himself another kill on Faith. Wow, he kills him again. Such a big find. Spots him coming. Oh, that's familiar almost dying straight away. Getting it back in there. Spectre now gonna horn in. Okay, probably gonna be the main target. The EGM again says, you instantly Spectre haunt. No fun. Look oh. at the grouping. Ideal together. Timber Chan will get him away in face. The only will drop down by the OD loader. He's man fighting with the Satanic. He's doing it. It might be enough. Joe's still there. EGM as he's dying to the spill damage, but Joe does go down. The bear is chasing down Sean. There will be buybacks right now from the Spectre. Sean, the last one. He oh, is he's burning. Gonna go down. He is burning, and he is not burning. He is actually dead, Sean. Oh, he found him. He went. There's a track. Four stuff away, he's just like, man, pop your face through, run as fast as you can, open wounds, he got the range. Oh. And Admiral Bulldog, possibly, no, he couldn't even sprout himself up, but S4's gonna come in, and actually, he TP's out the time, and now your game has been finnold. Uh, what? Wait. Finnold paused. Finnold paused. The finnold paused. The finnold paused. What the fuck? When the admin intervenes, and Joe now tries to fight loading in time lapse, Joe's on the run out of here, the ensnare over on YYF. And now YYF, he will be brought down. And they're even chasing in deeper. Joe will go down, S4 with a double kill. And they chase down on Chuan. And S4's right behind him, meld hit. Already had a negative 15 armor. One basic attack will get a kill. Amazing play by Finnold. I like it to surprise in both teams to like, you know? <laughs> Ferrari. In oh, he's he stuck. Yep. That's where he's stuck. He's locked in the corner and four staff will actually help him out there. Admiral Bulldog helping him. And EGM now pops the mirror images and Joe, he's being attacked by the Desolator. Loaded just ripping into him. They get the Orchid up on Ferrari. And this, I would almost be tempted to say, is going to be a double rack if not the GG. Goes up to keep, keep Fate alive a little bit longer with EGM with the ensnare. They, stop, they actually stopped the unstoppable stream. And then they take the SD out, and that's full team wipe. This will be double racing at least. Admiral Bulldog's already TPing back to base so he can rejoin him in a moment. And they're going straight for the GG. Yeah, and they're just there's trying no to force. Yeah. Six, 68 seconds left for the DK to respawn. And there it is. GG well played. Alliance will 2 0 IG and keep their undefeated spree. And are we gonna see a fight? Yep, they got track up on the arc with Green Shadow Blade can't help him right now. And he's looking for a stun, a blink to a back, and he comes dead for Chakram, quick set, and he actually got Nightmare, so he didn't get hit by the Ravage. EG ended, however, and S4 with the call out coming in, Bulldog, Fiend script up, the wall goes down, Luo, he gets a nice couple of copies, Meg Charge will keep him alive a little bit longer, but he's already now down. While well, S4, he's hunting, he just sat again. He splits the Alchemist in twine, gets a double kill. Really, he's gonna go for more too. Naga picked up one, Esmore picked up two. 
And now Lanham, well, he'll go Invis, and then Naga throws the ulti, but the BKB is still up there for the Alka. It's like, well, we can keep attacking you while the rest of your team just stay where you are. And then Chakra through Kanu and Lua, and look at it! More! Shackle won't latch here. EGM, he turns around with a telekinesis as well as the bait bolt. He did the first damage, which will allow Loader oh, to finish up the kill. Like a man. He's gonna get his bug off him. Is he gonna blast and get him? Uh, hopefully he should. Yeah, the pigs are coming out saying do it, and now he's already prepping Oh, it. it's a good blast, I think. If Lanham goes down south, he went down south! Yeah. 21 minute GG will be called. S4, G6, S4, C3, S4, A7, Miss, 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 Hit, Hit, S4, What the fuck? So sick of this! Here they go. Tang Fu and Alliance back at it. Once again, four stamp initiation from both teams, but one of them got off an overgrowth. Shadow Demon explodes. Mu drops the old. It does nothing. There's your RP. Did they catch Loda? They did not. Once again, he dodges it. Now it's up to Al. Al trying to duke it out with Loda. He doesn't get a bash. He needed one. Now a big ult from Ake. Actually doing real damage here. Hal on the run. Tracked up as well. RP on cooldown. Alliance, have they done it, Lumi? Have they broken the back of Tang Fu? But here we go. One more fight for Tang Fu. BKBs all get popped. Now on to S4. No, he's backing off. How's on the run. His BKB is about to wear off. He hits Loda a few times. There's your RP. Loda in trouble. Crop bolt over the top. They bring him down. Finally, Loda's dead. But now the back. Time, time, back. time lapse in. And he's going to find the kills. And that's all she wrote. Tang Fu out mind game, outplayed and outmaneuvered. And Alliance keeps their perfect record alive. Arrow's gonna fly on Banana, he gets caught out, now in trouble, and Bulldog says delicious goal, give me it all. Loda hits the arrow, and now everybody's on the run. S4, BKB is up, the walls dropped, it's okay, but nobody cares about it. The bear's running through it, so too is S4, and they get a stun. Moo's gonna fall, and they do. Moo's dead, King J on the run, it's a rout, it's going to be possibly three dead. They need one more if Sangshan unleashes oh, the arrow. stun. The arrow once again, nailing how it used to be that they would not affect invisible units. Now they do, and Loda with the DD rune. He's gonna clean up house here. He gets a double kill. The alliance still reigns supreme. We could see a really early fight here. EGM's got eyes on him, and they're gonna go for it. There's a tether stun. EGM walked right into it. Korok getting a lot of damage. Could end up being the first blood. Can they get him? One more auto attack. Not enough. They're gonna continue to chase him. Puck's orb will be the first blood. Mike next on the list. That's 0 for 2, and they're not done. Trying to chase them out. Down go the cogs from Bulba. That's going to disjoint things, but Loda's not done. He actually checked that. He is because he bit off a bit more than he can shoot. S4 chasing him down. That's a double kill for Puck to lead this game off. S4 is just going to get a killing a killing spree elsewhere as we watch the madness that is this bottom lane. Getting quite hard for this stage of the game. Quite hard. Now we're going to have a site to buy shoes on TC. Hey, Bulba's going to come in, drops the cogs. Korok got confounded by it. There's Song of the Siren. Now they're going to cancel it. Call down pretty much wasted. TC showing off a BKB of his own. And now Ake going to be caught out. And once again, some sloppy execution out of Alliance is going to prolong this game. And here comes Loda back in. What a coil once again. S4 just money in the absolute bank. And finally, that should be enough to bring this to an end. I mean, that train is never late. And they're going to go on Loda again, Bottom. And Loda going to be charged out. Still continuing. And oh, wow. Saved by Io. Unfortunately, Io, of course, is going to be a sacrificial lamb for this. And 
You better give your buddy a pat on the butt there, Loda. Not going to be fun. I know it's true. They're going to re-engage off of it. TC's going to be lassoed out. He's going to end up blown up. The damage from his mini ult, quite good. However, they're going to be able to pursue out Fluff and get him as well. Loda says, no man left behind, AC. Shut your mouth, son. I was going back. And not, not even going to be, no, they didn't have it, bro. There's a BKB and the lasso going to drag it back. Swapped out. Very nice play for my ex-Mike. I don't think it matters, though, as the damage output is just immense. We're going to see TC focus fire down, sprouted in by his own teammate. And Korok comes in, charges a couple, but just look at the health melt. There's nothing they can do. Who's going to charge him into the base? GG's going to come out. So in the end, Alliance. Not quite as lopsided as game one, but still a very convincing win by the time all was said and done. It's like not going as fast as I thought it would be going, but still pretty decent. Yeah. Oh, 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 he raises. That's kills going on here in the middle lane. Timbers are already going down. BKB turned up for S4, looking for NS. He is able to run himself towards the tower, though, but oh, NS doing his, Yeah, on the slashes. That's going to be helping out Loda. Chasing down KSI. KSI will be the one to go down. Vinish still alive for some reason. He's able to get the Aegis with the help of the familiars. But still, nonetheless, that's going to be four dead. Let's see how Burst Broken Fighter. Dream Coil already got him down up on two, silence, silence up on three. three. And that's our start. Already dead before he can do anything. In comes Illidan. Tether stone straight away. Youth Force uses time lapse. EGM still taking a lot of damage though. Doom goes up up on Illidan, who is not able to get himself out of that one. And that is gonna be Io dead, but still Illidan to die. Last two up on Loda, but Crazy is just buying time for himself. He will be the one to go down. Loda will have another real drift and a stun if need be. And that's gonna be another kill. Three dead on the side of Virtus Pro. And they're chasing down for more. They're looking for Enchantress. In comes a slow. In comes our start again. He just died. He dies again. Sprout up. Bulldog in some trouble. In comes a relocate. Trying to save Bulldog, but won't be able to. KSI will be the target though, getting some revenge. That's a team wipe. They're on the right path to make it a 12 0. In comes a slow. Doom up on Illidan already though, and Illidan already dead. Mystic Flare not really doing that much. Hand of God coming up. Four seconds on up on RSR. Bulldog still taking quite a bit of damage. GG gets called. 17 minutes. GG. They have to go Smoke up from Alliance. They're gonna wrap around here. 100%. It's Seeing if they can catch out the team level, try to scout out if they're doing Roche. The ward is already placed, they will and see them. Bulldog, okay. That was cute. He, Bulldog yeah, I saw that. Ga gave vision of his treant, then he sent it into the Roche pit. And they come. To force them to run up and check. In comes the Gale, <laughs> up on Ohio. Oh, he tries to firefly himself away. Open Wound still trying to slow down Loda, but Loda finds himself okay with XY. First blood already down, Io with the kill. I came by XY, I think he's gonna be dead as well. That tether giving load on the extra. Oh my god, Alliance, you master nerd. First blood. Uh, first blood goes on the mid lane. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Four people of orange here though, and they might at least be able to get the tower there. In comes a cold on Fisher, Frostbite. Good TP still comes in. Vacuum, Hand of God helping out. Lotus still alive. In comes a bow. Looking for Mushi. Finds Mushi and Ohio as well. In comes a tennis stone. Down goes Mushi. Looking for more. Ohio X mark to spot it. And he will end up dropping as well. Two kills. Go away. Of Alliance. Rocket Barrage will still clean out the Crystal Main. Why not? Goes for KYX by. That's a reflection already gone. Gale hits a fun two. Vortex still up on Loda, but it is KYX by that drops Mushi. The spirits could actually still take him off. And one more hit needed. He ball lightnings. The Gale. Aki with the kill. That's gonna be Alliance though in the base of Orange. And they're just they're just looking for a GG right now. That's smell Rex down. Dream coil, up a KYX by. He already just died. We'll die again. Bye. GG well played. 13 minutes in. My name is Jonathan Berg, uh, my nickname is Loda. I play for Team Alliance and I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. The reason why everyone fears us is because you can never really know what we're gonna do and we will sometimes switch our playstyle. 
during the tournament. We will just switch the playstyle completely and they don't really know how to prepare for us even though they think they, they know. We like to let the opponents run around and try to do stuff. Sure, they will get one pick-off, they will get two pick-offs, but that doesn't matter. Dora isn't about kills, Dora isn't about gold either. Dora is about winning and taking down the opponent's throne, and you need to win one team fight to do that, pretty much. Winning the series international would just be so awesome. It would just be a proof that we we were the best team this year, and, and I, I would just be so happy for the other guys in the team as well, I really love them. So. I felt from the beginning that this year was going to be a good year and it was going to be our year. So we aim for the top and I think we have the chance to get there. Alliance versus LGD Gaming. So the Century Vision still goes to Alliance and they take a second. Roshan. Yeah, that's a lot of control having Roshan. Oh, it's four! He found DD, jumped in, but the follow up stun, the acid spray, the roar as well from Beastmaster. DD, the cogs have to wait a little bit longer. They get the stun, the Beastmaster acts as S4. He's still alive through this. Xiao Wei wants the TP out, can't get out in time. Sila pops the BKB and the Shadow Blade to bail. And that is one hell of a hit from S4. And Sila, well, well, wow. Wow. DPS, really. wow. So Alliance have to do something. The Familiars have already done their stun, and Sila wants to open up again. S4, he's got to jump in here. Oh, Sila! Blinding line! He's a four star. He's been pushed up. Somebody get him down! Somebody get him down! DD again yes. with the extra stuns. Admiral Baldos looking at DDC, and now DD, he'll go down the river. And Sila, all he can do is watch his teammates die. Yao is up here. Did he skewer? He skewered his teammate out to safety. That is one hell of a blinding light. Blink away. Sila runs back past the tower. Well, Arcade just proved his worth. Arcade is just such a monster on some heroes. And now they will take Roshan. Bird's doing some evil damage to Arax already. I'll just push on every single lane, as you mentioned. They just want to keep LGD completely split. That's all this is. In fact, now they've just made so many copies that they're going to get a kill on the rack. It does go down. This is the reason why people hate PL. Yep, that's pretty much it. And he comes straight back in again. More of himself. Sila, he knows he can clean him up quickly, but he doesn't want to pop a chemical rage for nothing but illusions. Who's are still killing off this range racks. They're going to finish it. They're going to finish it. It's a really good choice, I feel, with the second heart coming, especially. <laughs> and the mid range racks is going down. Yep, they gotta clean it. It's gone. This is the power of a farmed up and tanky PL. And S4, we like to CDC. X as well. The Colts, he's actually pushed back far enough. The Piglet runs. Beastmaster, Blink up, Raw. EGM forced out the way. The Concoction will still fly up. Xiao Wei trying to beat him down. RP! Catching two! Refresh already used. Aegis demolished up. Skewering down. Nothing but fakes. The Visage will fight back. They want to kill him. RK, no supports can come in. S4, being gripped up. Base. The base, what's the base. happening? The base is, is currently being stacked. Bottom lane, Admiral Bulldog's in here. They have the defense, Colobot back. And now your secondary RP. Familiar Spice in space. Sila beats down Admiral Loda. Bulldog. And Loda, nightmare up. Concoction, one stun, two stun. Hold, hold, hold. Slide, slide, slide. Loda, he's gone. The mid racks, the only one standing. 98 seconds. Who cares about gold? Loader may even go down to his own quote in the team profile. They will want to push. The tier two it's towers divine. is now the time. That's divine. Sila going for it. You are a man, Sila. You are a man. LTD going big or go home. Dude, they go GG. Look at the TP's bottom lane. They already got support. Loader, Admiral Bulldog. Do they turn? Do they turn? Do they rush the GG? Roar in. They've already found Arcade. Arcade goes down. DDC stunned up. Sila. He said it's going for kills. They're back inside the base. EGM is down. They're going for the throne ranks. 
and now the stun on DD. Where is it? The tier fours are gone. They have to go back. It's too late. It's too late for too late. LDD. Alliance will take the win here. Loader and Bulldog in through the rear. There's just not enough deep. Sila, he's trying. He's trying. So oh, oh, oh! 62 minutes, 46 seconds. 31 to 30. Kills me nothing. Throw means everything. All right, guys, how's it going? It's Capitalist from Join Dota, and once again, joining me, thankfully, he's going to be Loda, and uh, I want to just get a talk on that game one. First of all, starting out, that base race. That was, honestly, going into that base race, I was like, oh, Alliance has got this, no problem. But it was actually a lot closer than I expected, um, partly because of the Assault Curious advantage that, um, that LGD did have. Uh, were you watching your own throne? Were you seeing how close that was? Uh, I just watched the minimap, but... <clears throat> I have a good uh, feeling for how, how fast things takes to do and uh, since Fury, since Bulldog uh, went to split push and S4 can always try to do something with the cogs uh, to try to stop them for a little bit, I was quite confident that we would take it. Sure, they had ha, they had Divine, they had Kuras, they had everything they can want for a base race, but I mean they didn't have the glyph. Uh, their base towers were actually quite low. Uh, and. I wasn't very, very nervous in the base race. I was rather more nervous for taking a fight versus uh, versus Divine Alchemist. Alliance versus LGD Gaming. Game number two of our best of three. They will deny the tower and EGM, well, he's still too close. He's still way too close here. Xiao Wei looking for the stun, tried it, load up, actually being pulled back, and they're gonna take two actually from LGD. There's a great initiation in from S4 with a dream Alliance. call, and now Yao held in position. It's a turnaround here for Alliance. Gyro will buy back into the game. Sila, the only player left alive. Yeah, Ori with a Nova better, and S4 jumps in oh, but hit nice. himself. Wonderful spike, Carapace, and then skewer up. RP drags a man, but RK with the oldie from the tree line. LGD slowed, damaged. DDC even held in place by RK. Bubbles, double kill for Admiral Bulldog. Just ripping through the lineup of LGD, and they will take a tier one tower as well. Oh, they're back in against Xyla. He's gonna get instead. No mana. Can Shadow Blade held there? S4 jumps in, throwing away his life, oh, and they even pick up the birds. Oh, they can't go in like that and lose their alchemist as well. And look at that back out by Alliance. It's really, really disciplined how they just back out in that scenario after even killing the alchemist. But just with that back by, uh, by that keep, they immediately react. Coming back though, Naga ulti sets up. Yao as well as Sila. Which one do they want? Yeah. The Centaur goes over to Yao. Centaur stop. They want that RP gone. And they're gonna get it too. One charge, stick charge, not enough. He goes down, probably bounces through, and this could be LGD's last stand. S4, Nuke again. So hard to hit these things. Puck Dream Call on two. Now finally the concoction will connect. Soul is such a charge, but Loader opens up through the rear. There goes your rocket barrage. Flat cannon as well. It's GG! Alliance! They will advance, they will face up against the winner of IG versus DK, but they are into the winner's bracket semi-final. Alliance, man, coming out really, really strong after that extremely long game one that we had, and they were really happy over here in the booth. At S4, the captain of Alliance is with us right now ahead of the match, and I wanted to first of all congratulate you on beating LGD yesterday. How did it feel? Yeah, it felt really good. Yeah? Th thank you so much. And you're on kind of a hot streak right now. I understand you're undefeated in group play. You're coming off of another big win. How are you feeling this morning? Um, we're feeling like the upcoming match against DK is going to be one of the hardest in this tournament. So we're pressured right now. How have you prepared for this one versus previous matches? We're going to stick to our style. We're not going to change. Uh, I mean, we're winning. So why, why change? Yeah, why change anything? Yeah. S4, thank you. Best of luck and look forward to chatting with you on the other side. Right, thank you so much. Alliance versus DK. Looks like they're trying to steal Lotus Stack. Oh, Grand Theft Agents, here we go. 
Uh, I'm not sure whether you want to take this fight against three chain creeps over there. Dual breath gets dropped out here. Nice Press shot four. Flame breaks in. Lasso's Bernie pulling it back. Bernie's trapped on the far side of the cliff, but running for dear life. Mech's there from RTK, already used. Bernie's still alive. Wall deployed. Pulled out low. Pulled out dead. QQQ the trade. Lotus standing strong. Burning on the run. Elias seeming to pull ahead here. Three dead. Could be five soon. Bernie will fall. Four heroes dead. You can't even take their ancients without paying the price, Lumi. And here comes EGM, scouting out with a power shot. It's too late. Roche has fallen. She's on the deck. S4, though, disrupted. He could fall after this, but BKB's lasso's burning. Where is Loda? That's the big question. Only now joining the fight. Burning, though. No chemical rage. Loda focusing him. Steals the region. Bashes him as well. He still has Aegis. Abyssal on Loda. But now, the Aegis is down. And no, Burning didn't have it. He actually is going to fall. Super driven back. Alliance finding a way once again. Now the Aegis falls, the cheese is up on QQQ. Oh, Ice Man up here at Super, and he's gonna try to find his way out there, gets silenced, gets shackled, no way. and Alliance, no way. somehow, some way. Now, it looks like Alliance want to take a first lane of Rax. In come Anti-Mage Illusions, burning, sights up, BKB from Loda, straight on to ROTK, might avoid there, slam and jam and brings him down. Burning now, BKB to well lasso. he can't really fight or can he? Now he's channeling a stun, could go on Loda, will unleash it, but Al Alliance are not going to fight a fair fight against Burning. They're just kiting him, surrounding him, and chipping away. Alliance leading now, 24 to 16. There's no buyback, and right now DK dead for 90 seconds on the strongest, strongest hero. That's two lanes of Rax down. DK know that they have to make something happen now. They, see they Bulldog. want Bulldog, but he's gonna BKB, dodges the stun. Do they keep on fighting, Loda? He really oh, wants Q -Q 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 to leave. shackled. Oh my goodness. Disrupted. Meanwhile, it's just Illusions cleaning up the Rax, but here comes the TP from Bulldog. On to die. Now starting burning. He's isolating well, everyone. Loda. Oh, Bernie trapped. He's just completely trapped here. Now a back wall, but it's great force death. Everybody's spreading to the wind. And Alliance are just completely juking bash, the pants bash, off of DK. R N Jesus Loda. Oh my god. And they will force out GG from DK. Alliance versus DK on the visage, he is pretty low, but Burning is just immune oh to my damage. Oh my Blake in effect! Oh, DK delivers! What a beautiful song from EGM, buying him time. BKB Burning, he's isolated during this song. He's dropping fast, Monovoid's there, he's still alive! Burning says, let's right click, I got plans, I got everything, S4 buys back, he TPs and pops the BKB and Burning, just right click the racks. He's found it, he's got it, keep mind the tier three towers on top low, or are they gonna go for it? Buybacks coming out for here from Alliance, but they just can't get a kill. Everybody's alive. They see ORTK. He uses the cheese. He's back alive, burning, looking for more. This arm. There they go. Double familiar stun on S4. Back in. Dropping in a hurry. He's sent home. But EGM, no such luck. His fate is death. Burning steals it with a monovoid. And DK, one lane of Rax down, pressing for two. Everyone is buyback right now. Aside from that Darkseer, the key hero who can't die is RTK. A war to start. On the load of stone, immediately prepped. EGM with the count. Counter initiation. The birds the are keeping birds. him locked They're down. keeping him locked down. Burning now. The song's extended. Will he go for the Rex? No. He goes for the kill. On to Bodo. Bodo to fall. Now Loda. Loda's dead. And it looks like the Swedish Giants may yet fall. They're dropping fast. Burning's on to, out of control. GG. GG. And DK are going to take game two and knock out down the undefeated Alliance. Their first loss of the International Three. Alliance. Versus DK. They're gonna find him soon. He's stuck around a while. There's a rocket to fly. Bulldog not reacting to it. Now self sprouting. Will there be cogs? There are. S force here, but he's lifted up in the middle of his ultimate. Too low. It looks like Lights might lose more. Maybe not. S force doing way too much damage. Now burning on the run. In comes Loda. EGM as well. Alliance with five heroes into the fight. They're gonna fight two. They might fight three. Die is in trouble and Die is dead. Oh my god. Zoning you out of the jungle. They're worried about lasso initiations. Alliance are just going to try to starve DK out. And now Top they're diving, burning. burning at the base. The tier three isn't even safe. Burning will fall. 
looking up, flying vision, looking for super. He sees it up front. He's gonna get for super. Super gets pulled back, and he is gonna get melted. Even if they replicate him and not at full HP from juxtaposed, they'll still be pretty healthy. And here we go. They've isolated RTK, Ooh. trapped in the jungle. He's gonna go down. Damage up. Yeah, it doesn't get you away from the knockout there. Wait, lane. lasso again. Super. He thought it was safe to leave his base, and he was very, very wrong. Now he's low, and now he's dead. And with that kill, there's still an Aegis up on Loden. Now there's a Reaver, and the Alliance will go again. Is there a buyback here on the outcome? Is, but even just forcing out. No. On the QQQ they go. If they get more kills, that could be it. Pot faded out. Now the song completely counters it. Nothing here for burning, and they get a kill as well with the Illuminate. Uh, not again. ZK, they can't keep on getting picked oh, off. No. Die on the run, but he gets caught by the lasso. S4 is literally everywhere. Lift down and no haunt up. This could be the rash. Now they net him. Will they go on him? There's no lasso. For now, just focusing him. The illusions are really hurting Bernie. Driven back. He wants to defend. Super goes in, stuns himself, and now he's in a whole world of trouble. Son on, son off, and a lion. He's got buyback. He's got buyback. He's got hot. Here we go, Burning coming back, he gets one kill, he's looking for more Burning in the middle of the team fight, he gets focused, he's gotta survive, there's nothing else if he dies, QQQ -Q -Q getting focused, he's trying to run QQQ, -Q -Q. also go that Burning's dead and they're gonna focus him down, the last hope for DK, just, no, yes he dies, yes he dies, yes, yes, he dies. in the end there is only the Alliance unstoppable, they march down the middle lane, Rax will fall, Burning ball back, triple kill for Bulldog, absolutely crushed performance and DK will tap out and the Alliance are guaranteed a top three finish at the International Three. You can take a game off them, but good luck taking a series. Side one. Not the middle. Oh shit. Okay, get a side one from somewhere up near the bottom. What the fuck kind of jingle boy is this? They're like... Oh, okay, there we go. That'll do. Search for the loose side. We can't die. The search. Okay, help me. Navi versus Alliance. Here in mid, he's gonna show his face, show the flag a bit. Here come the creeps, and they got the net. Immediate reaction, here comes Puck. He's gonna end up dropping it. Puppy Silas the coil. Puppy in trouble, Bulldog's there. Burrow strikes, catches S4, will end up dead nonetheless. Kuro's there, now left by himself. Nothing he can do but hook up with Funnick. Another orb gonna be coming in. Track out on Kuro, call down. Gonna be enough to buy some space. Navi gonna get spotted here by Alliance and just choose to retreat, which again I feel is the right call. You don't really want to take a fight with your opponent having an Aegis. Oh, there's a coil gonna catch two. Silence on both. Here comes the cooldown. Dendi blown up immediately. Kuro can't move. Havost is locked down as well. Kuro blown up. The BKB negating all of the epicenter damage. That's two for nil and an easy two for nil at that. The difference between Loda having a BKB and not having one, he's able to focus whoever he wants, more or less. Another coil, gonna catch two, that's Kuro and Puppy. Beautiful phase shift at the shackle shot. Now Puppy and Kuro both blown up. Here comes the call down, but Havos can simply not stand and fight. Okay, using the mech, and Havos gonna be netted down. There we go, Loda going to town. Beautiful shackle, but EGM isolating Havos and allowing him to be focused because of the BKB, and two more right on top of each other. No longer. That's a full five-man wipe. Now the Rax again exposed from Navi. No glyph, here comes the teleport though from Wiz. BKB's there, Epicenter gonna do some good damage, but not nearly enough. Just don't have the firepower. There's a cold down, however, Havos focused down, pops his own BKB, Hand of God gets her gloves back up. And Alliance at this point, really and truly just looking untouchable. Yeah, they call the GG. Not even waiting for that second set of Rax to drop. Navi 
versus Alliance. Usually with a great sense for this, and now he's going to realize too late just how much trouble he's in. Tether's done to lead things off. He has nowhere to go. Doing some damage, he will not be able. Dyer's bottom tower. has fallen. I... Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. When Alliance wants to go for this. Navi is committed. Her boast is way far back as is Dindy. They are in there. Until Roche drops or until Alliance comes in. Here we go. There's the acid spray. Lotus gonna go for it. S4 is there. Tether stun. BKBs are up. There's finally a Ravage. Got S4. Rest of the fight. Engaged outside. There's an Illuminate to connect. And a Riptide as well. Dindy trapped inside. Her boast will drop. Low through it. Able to get him. And Dindy now being beautiful. Blinding light. Knocked it back. But here's the Eclipse. The Eclipse doing good damage. Loda has to make a run for it. No, sir! Killed off as he tried to make it uphill. Roshan still standing, as is Puppy, as is Havos. Took a buyback or two, but Na'Vi take what could be the most important battle of the game so far. No, Song of the Siren. Here comes the bear. Can they do it? Nope. Making better of it. They're going to try to force it out. Havos is in trouble. Illuminates there. Havos is gone. Puppy is gone. Roche is gone. Loda, with the help of EGM, Admiral Bulldog, and Ake. This is, of course, the reason Tidehunter is so rarely seen now. Such a slave to his cooldown. And Dindy's out there a bit. Can they grab him? It's there on the Puppy. They're going to engage off of a Corolla Puppy. You're in trouble. One's down. Can you save two? I can. Havos trying to re-engage. Dindy, 30 seconds from Ravage. Loda with the BKB up. Doesn't want to turn and fight. Looks like his supporting cast has to pull back. Funnick tried to re-engage. Will be it's there down. They're going to try to finish him off, and they will. S4 very close to death. Carapace through that last impetus, and Dendi chasing him down. Lotus there off the Aegis pop. Havos with his BKB activated. Beautiful and snare from EGM coming down from the high ground, locking him down. Funnick is bought back. Dendi one second until Ravage. Will he spend it? Can he spend it? He will hang on to it. Bulldog cleans up the kill. Phonix back up, trying to chase down S4. Another beautiful it's there in the mech. Kept S4 alive as he turns and extends the killing spree. 13 to 7, and a game that was led for so long by Navi has completely turned on its head. Alliance just coming back from the most ridiculous positions, able to just stay cool, calm. But as these fights get drawn out, it's going to go the way of Alliance. The burn damage on Admiral Bulldog alone, more than Navi can handle. EGM may be in some trouble. Havos cleaned up. Bulldog got a mega kill streak. There's Song of the Siren. And Dendi, the man left behind. Gonna end up being tipped back to the well the hard way. Going back in a body bag, as that's a double kill. They lost the Roshan fight, so now looks like the base is gonna get taken down again. Top lane fully exposed, no glyph, no ravage up on Dendi for another 50 seconds, and Alliance seemingly might actually be taking this 2-0. Havos is gonna be chopped to pieces, can't even get away. Loda, large and in charge, and with these kills, there it is! G G. In a match that was as highly anticipated as any in the history of Dota 2, Alliance puts together a 2 to nothing blanking of Na'Vi and punches their ticket to the Grand Finals. GG, well played indeed. Thank you very much, James. Yeah, S4 is here. And first off, congratulations. Quite a bit of a comeback there in that last game. How did you do it? We knew what they were going to do. They were going to take all our towers and just five men. And uh, we res responded correctly. We, we didn't take the early fights because we knew they were stronger. Um, and we just farmed up our core items. And that's how we won the game. 
How are you feeling? A little bit relieved? Yeah. Yeah? Of course. <laughs> All right, congratulations. We will see you in the grand finals. That is fantastic. Thank you. We have Ake and Loda with Alliance joining us now. How are you guys feeling going into the grand final? It uh, feels great to be uh, in the grand finals, to be able to play this. Uh, it's like we couldn't dream of this, uh, so it feels great. And you guys have played together for so long, so how does that feel coming into this as friends even? Yeah, it feels uh, very awesome. We, uh, it's always good to have Ake at your side makes me feel uh, comfortable and uh, no pressure and everything like that, so it feels really great. I'm assuming you've been watching all of the matches. What did you think of, of Navi's comeback in that last one? Uh, <laughs> like, it's, it was a pretty sad uh, turn for Orange, you're but right, at the right. same time, I was so impressed by Orange's place like throughout the whole week. They game. lost the first round in the uh, winner bracket, and then they to come all the way that they did, I think they should be so, so proud of uh, what they have done. Yeah, all the teams have been so fun to watch. Good luck to both of you, and you have taught me. I know we're not sending it back to James, but this is what I would say in Swedish if I were. Till till James, right? <laughs> That's James. <very good>, <laughs> sure. Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grand Finals of the International Three! But it's bottom lane, where they've gone in on Funnick, he's dropping pretty low. There's another Rocket Barrage, there's still a Dust here. It's first blood and it goes to the Alliance! Very, very early on, Loda. If they try to go again, it could go south, but here they go. On to Ake, DD for S4. Ake dropping fast, he's gonna fall, but S4, he's found Funnick, now tethered, blown up by the Ake creep, fighting from beyond the grave. Now Kuroki, sprouted, locked in place, but here comes Big, Bad Dendi, but no, it's too much damage from Loda, three to one. Wild Bulldog just chilling bottom lane. Funnick though, he's gonna start here with the Janata. now applying the right clicks, but there's a sprout on Funnick. He might be in trouble, S4's rotating. It in. No detection yet. Here's your relocate. They really want this pesky bounty hunter. Here we go. They're looking for two. Hope to fly. They pop puppy as well. Call that's coming in. Dendy's down. Six to one. Virtually useless against BKB heroes unless he gets off a gale and, and advance. Here they go though. A boast. Easy pickings for S4. Now it's too late. Firefly's over. S4 back into the pit. Covering his team. Roche to fall. It goes to the Alliance. The Aegis on the Loda. And now a Hulk on a boast. He's overstayed his welcome here. Swapping in Kuroki. Kuroki says get me out of here man. And he can't. He'll fall. It's a headlong retreat now. Golda teleporting forward. Creating another base of attack. Now a call down to fly. They've lasso Bulldog. He's still alive though. He's not even dying. Three dead. No track kills for Navi, and they're not gonna get any. Make it four. Navi down two to eleven, okay. and they're gonna GG. Oh my God. GG. minute GG, and they're gonna get that final last kill. Alliance just dominating. Alliance versus 2011 international champions. Navi. As Alliance do have fantastic late game, Navi can match that to a large extent. Track oh, on, here we go. Here we go. Relocate. Hello, Mr. S4. Say hello to Slapchop. Havost is here. S4. Roar. Is oh, he going to land? Oh. He's still alive. Unbelievable. Still he stands. He's not dead yet. EGM might fall one more swipe. He gets the kill.
Meanwhile, on the middle lane, they're diving Bodog. That's a track kill. That's for three. Funnick, Funnick's gonna get picked off by Loda here. And Alliance Loda, he's looking for well. the turnaround. But Puppy's got Black Hole. He's got Malefist. Is he gonna unload? Not yet. Oh. I think they could have gone there, but maybe a little bit too far to risk it. Gonna back off. But that's a lot of wasted time. Meanwhile, middle lane. Here oh, comes the relocate. You gank us. We dodge it and gank you twice as hard. Gold Dog will fall. And Na'Vi in full control of game two. As what drops a Beast Master Roar, but he has no backup here. Ten of movement speed forward here. Couple more rides. It's gonna do it. Havos finds himself a double kill. A so is finished in 16 minutes. What is this form? He is richer than God. He's hardly had to fight, but now if he wants oh, to, he most certainly here. can. Denny forcing forward, really wanting to dive a two-hill kill, but I don't think it's enough. In comes the stun. EGM, one stun, three swipes, and he's down. My God, Navi is rolling so hard. Roshan, next in line, slapping and chopping. Havos, he'll have Roche. Then if he wants his BKB, he's nearly got it. The gold strat is really paying off. And here we go. Oh, okay, top. And they're gonna find Loda, the last hope. He just get melted by Havos. Whenever Navi wants to pick a fight, they can. And if Alliance does not defend now, they will start losing their first lane of Rax. Oh, bitch, jump in against S4. He gets pulled back out. And S4 is going to get focused so hard that he does not know what him. Meanwhile, Hobos, 1v4, deep in the base. He does not carry immediate buyback. He'll set their back up. Can we get a black hole? Yeah, no, no, no black hole. S4 drops his war first. They want Bulldog. Bulldog chasing in. Yeah, Bulldog. Alliance, they just can't stand against this level of damage. Puppy's still hunting, start out on game. they don't even need the black hole, it's a rout, it's a retreat to the fountain, they'll find S4, S4's dead, in a matter of seconds, four to fall, they're farming Alliance in their own base, this is the most one-sided game that the Alliance has lost in this entire tournament, 20 minutes in, 20 kills, the gold lead, 30,000, and it's GG! What was once the best of five is now resetting to a best of three. Alliance versus 2011 international champions, Navi. Six is coming quite soon. I mean, generally the timing for a level six on the mid lane is around this, although. Oh, the root comes oh, here. Oh, gets rooted. No tether. Dendi's in trouble. He's got nowhere to run. He's gonna be the first blood. The Bulldog root does it. Now Navi deciding to go into the Roshan pit. I mean, Firefly is down, but it's back up now. And you gotta expect Here we go. Here we go. A Bulls being pulled out here, and he just nobody helping him out except a relocate. Can Dendi bring him home? He's not doing anything just yet. A Bulls still very tanky. Oh, Dendi walks into him. Oh, no. And There's no raging on. Kuroki to fall. Two dead. Now now they're on the run from the backside comes Frunic. Laguna Blade as well. That's three for one. Alliance where there's a will, there's a way. Four for two and haunting of both. He's gonna be a tough kill, but there's your arrow. Loda is sniping them all. Cannot miss, will not stop. That's a team wipe. Give them five, four, one. And now directly into the Roche pit. They're just gonna keep on taking trades because they have the, the Lone Druid Bear, which hits like a truck. The tier two bottom's gonna fall. Now they have to defend mid, but S4, he's got a blink force. He's got a lasso as well. Denby will be essential to keep him safe. The tier three mid falls. There's no glyph available. In comes the bear. They're looking for a recruit on a boat. The bear's damaged, being stolen. S4 leaps in, grabs Funnick, but can't kill him off. He's low, he's not dead. No damage to bring him down. BKB from Funnick, Nobby stands strong but they lose him Loda snipes the kill the bear's dead soon to be resummoned puppy falling fast Loda with a DD clinking he's starting to hurt that's two down the Alliance not dead turning it around Havos in trouble Kane stun city but he gets the two arrow stun he's gonna turn it back the other way Havos right clicking for us he's gonna get EGM as well that's a triple kill but Aki says Skill cast, baby! Team wipe and Alliance! They completely win the fight! And in they go. Hard to kill. Kuroki with the blink, the lift, Ake caught. Navi finding the pickoffs. This could be game. Two lanes of rest. Soon to fall. Low to low. Driving them back. Star falls there. Something stolen. The bear. Man fighting out with the boat. Loda locked in position. Does not give two hoes. 
Then the arrow comes. Another play. Whip again. Kuroki mm. just connecting. Lena melts. The racks melts. Lona trying his best to hold off whatever he can, but Hopo just does not care on the front line. That second lane of Rax, S4 is back, and I think that's time to get the hell out for Navi. They got exactly what they wanted. Hopo says, no, I want more. I'm gonna just storm down and get the mid-Rax. Give me a range, Rax, as well. If you're not buying back, you must not have it, he says. And in they go. Kuroki, another leap. This time a BKB from S4, but he's not using it to fight. Now, they grab Lona. He gets four staff into the fray. Lift it up, drops down, and dead. Lona has fought and the Swedes are in a headlong state of disarray. Na'Vi on the brink of being one game away from taking the entire tournament. And then make a safe retreat, that's a big question right now. S4, big chase, but if you see the Na'Vi S5, they're rotating, they're moving bot, they don't want to chase, they don't want to go back, they just want to win the game right now. They have about 48 seconds without buyback on Loda. This is the go time. Remember, if Navi do die, they've got a buyback relocate available. So, they really have seven heroes here. They really do have an Aegis in this fight. And then they go. It could be three lanes of Rex. It could very well be game. Alliance might be trailing for the first time ever in this series. Here we go. Funnick falling fast. The tether stuns there. Death 4 lassoing Funnick. Funnick will fall, but EGM's been caught. And EGM is dead. A both is merciless. That's three lanes of Rex. That's probably game. He He's got the buyback, he's still alive, and Alliance are on their very last legs. And the overcharging, blocking damage, earning himself. Hobos is immortal. They disarm, and they're gonna keep on rightly. Hobos still alive. How is this man alive? Finally, he'll die, but he buys back. Dendi will too. They're coming right back in. Actually, no relocate. They do lose a few. They lose four, but that's Mega Creeps. And Alliance now, good luck leaving your base. That is this arm against the bear when you rely so much on a single target, deal that damage, and obviously. And a divine. Oh, here we They're go. going for it. I love go. it. Alliance showing some real cojones in this match. They've got to win this fight. Lona has a DD as well. This bear will absolutely murder anything. Bears win games. Will it win this one? There's a glyph on Navi. Arrow. There's a buyback on the wisp. Arrow not going to accomplish anything. In comes the bear. In comes S4. He's found Funnick. In comes this the bear as well. This arm against the Bear, he's not doing anything. Funnick survived the initiation. The bear, says, the I want the bear. I want your HS. Thank you very much. G -G. G -G. Alliance versus 2011 international champions Navi. And it's Fun. a night stalker. He's under attack. Radiance middle tower. Some additional support coming soon. Not cast it yet. S4 nice on the prowl, but lift it up, thrown in. Coil as well. Here's your call down. Loda unloading the damage. Two to fall. Make it three. And Navi in a headlong retreat. And Nice Soccer's so alive right now, trying to get the slow. He does find it. Funnick trying to fly off the cliff. Not going to be as we see EGM picks up a triple kill on the Wisp. Well, that's his level 6 if he ever needed one. Meanwhile, Dendi, though, he can make a play here on S4. The silence is there. Can't Double use. damage. S4. No! Dendi's gonna go down! It's a team boy! Mid lane, Bulldog's in trouble. Now an Alp stun. They're really diving for this. They've got a limp. Kuroki coming in. It's four heroes mid. They do get Bulldog, nice but Ake's TP'd in. He's got a Frostbite, holding Havost in position. Hello, S4, coming in. Tether's there. Relocate from EGM, and Dendi's on the run. S4, how far will he go oh. for this? Supports that are liabilities oh, about to get caught. He is so dead. Buffy's not going to make it. They took down the tower. Oh, oh, here we go. Silence is going to be nukes, nukes, nukes. The teleport rotation from Dendi. He's got to cancel it. They make it. They put you on a diet. Reload man. They see Kuroki and he is so dead. Here we go. Havos no coming in. Alliance. They don't have a gem. Actually, they do have a gem on EGM. S4 just doesn't care. He gets stunned and he keeps on rolling. There's no glyph. This tower's falling soon. Kuroki. Something oh, stolen. There's no glyph. Four step backwards. You gotta kill EGM quick. And they will not. Mad. The mech coming up. The call down comes out. Havos trying to right click, but he just does not do any damage. S4. Melting. Double kill for Loda. Three on the deck. Havos. Not gonna win this fight, not against the Lions. Their full might unveiled. They take four, they only lose one. This is Rex, this might well be game. 16 to four, 25 minutes in, Na'Vi getting smashed.
If Navi got to run, they're screwed. They already are, but here we okay. go. There's three minutes to go on this age. Just silence thrown out. Funnick jumping in. Does catch EGM. EGM, no buyback. If he gets caught, could be bad. Low, but maxed up. Poppy just gets smacked down. Now the tier three is down. Funnick out of this fight for quite a few seconds. The tier two, the Rax is going to fall. Lotus taking it. Now Havos backstab on Bulldog. He's going to drop. On to Funnick, last way up Loda, but Loda is still alive, he's still got a satanic, a boast is hacked, and a boast will fall! S4 and the rest of the team, triple buyback coming up from now, quad buyback, they want, to, they need to make something of this happen, Dandy finds a two-man coil, and they can go right in Funnick, oh, he's silenced up. There's a relocate here, Loda still got BKB, Bulldog will fall though, no, I think, Loda, not oh, dead yet! Avos buy back into death again, and S4, he's gonna chase. Another dead, Alliance, the Swedish monsters, they force a game five! Alliance versus 2011 international champions, Navi. Everything hangs in the balance. It all comes down to this. One more game, two million dollars on the table, winner. First place at the International, the Aegis, and the prestige of being the best Dota 2 team in the world. <laughs> bottom lane, bottom lane. Pavost on the run gets pulled into a tether. Oh, no. He's channeling a stun, but he's been locked in position. Dropping fast, oh, not oh. dead yet. Loda's low. Loda is going to die. Pavost. Havos drops the first blood, Ammo Bola going for the kill right now, Tether to break the trees, Tango up here by Havos, he's got to EGM, EGM, he's got a EGM's low, oh, Arkin's low, Havos, is he really oh gonna kill god. it? Oh my god, Havos, get going for the kill, is he gonna get it? Havos, yeah. a double kill! Now they're going again, one once more, more. they'll go for Havos, the one second stun, the luck not with them, another team big. Magic stick, Magic stick, four charges, can he get to the trees? He will, he's gonna be safe. He's gonna live. They're still going for this Bulldog tank in the tower. Oh god, the jukes! So much jukes, but the tree's being destroyed. One more sun, he's still juking to the right side. Tower, EGM's low! Can you get the kill on EGM? Oh my god. He's got another tether here. Oh, Asus Prey! Asus Prey gets the kill on both! So they're quad laning bottom. Let's just call it what it is. It's a quad lane. That's two Bulldog TPs to the bottom lane. They have four heroes bottom, and he is leading three to two. And meanwhile, Dendy's 1v1 mid, he's winning his lane handily, 11 and 10 already, and Funnick, free farm top lane, there's nobody here. Puppy, he's got the jungle to himself, he's just rubbing his palms together. Alliance is really shooting themselves in the foot. Dendy, close to his next item, and I think this is a BKB game to me. We'll see what Dendy wants to go for, but here we go. Relocate on Havos, trapped in position, this time does he get out? Uh-uh, not that easy. Alliance strikes back with a vengeance, five to five, and a much needed kill. They continue to shut the sound down. Five heroes mid for Na'Vi. They love to fight early. They love to fight constantly, and they're hunting S4. There's a Blink, a Lasso as well. Locked in place, and just look at him oh, melt! Yaki, you're in the wrong neighborhood. One more trap is gonna give Malphys on top. They're backing off, because there's a huge backstab from Loda. Oh, EGM's gonna get, oh, there's the kill. And now Loda in huge trouble. Can they have traps? Can they have sun? Meanwhile, Loda somehow finds a double kill. The sun comes oh, out. Aki, okay, a back more hits. The it's a two second sun. Aki still alive. Kuroki on the back line trying to get the right glow. The zap from Kuroki. They're not done just yet. Dendy trying to get the mouse strike. He finds it. Kuroki. Up a Dendy. Up a Dendy. Out of his mind right now. In comes S4. There's a stun from a boss with his dying oh. wish. Dendy, though, will fall. And immediately the alliance replies. Meanwhile, Aki and S4, Puppy's gonna find a mid, but is it Puppy who gets caught? Or bin? But S4 just walked into a gank party. Here's your relocate. Here we go. Oh, Black Hole's still ready to go. The Kuroki's dropping low. Oh my god, hit so hard. A Vol's trying to find a kill. Meanwhile, Dendi trying to focus on S4. S4 dies again. The relocate goes back out. Lotus says, where's my bus home? Where's the bus? Because Dendi is dropping big mail strikes. And now they are pulling away with this game. Bulldog caught. Bulldog will fall. Triple kill for Dendi. Dendi looking for more. He got Mel Strike funding. Oh, what a tender away by EGM. 
Navi, breeding down Roche fast, S4, prepping the jump, Fireflies there from Funnick, not gonna let him go in easy, relocates there, Black, Black Hole! Hole! Loda gets caught here, where's the physical damage, there's nothing, the Black Hole gets cancelled, where is Dendi? Puppy dropping, La Puppy's dead, but S4, S4 is dead now, two men sprawl on top, Loda still whacking Dendi. everybody away. Dendi is still alive, they can't stop him! EGM in a whole world of trouble, he's gonna live, but the way lies open, Bulldog TP's in. No KTP with buyback, CK's here, Dendi oh, get geez. out of there! He wants to fight, he wants to fight! There's no detection, there's no detection. Oh yeah, no. no, he came oh, by his low Trying to get out to left, but the sun's gonna hit, oh my god, he explodes! it in! Blows him up, and now Roshan, how do they fight it? They've used so much to contest this Roche. The buyback on Wiz, the buyback on CK. Now Funnick wants to go again. Fireflies up, Loda, EGM. If they die again, they've got no buyback. Dendi, oh, muscling forward. Itself. Will it matter though? Dendi's here, and Dendi is ready to fight. Roche dropping fast. He's not in the pit. Alliance, oh, playing on. Oh, Ake trying to do something here. Havul's dropping low. Ake's gonna drop as well. And Dendi, he's doing way too much. Nobody's actually focusing him. Dendi, perhaps trying to right click on Loda. Down to about half HP back line here. Ammo Bulldog getting focused. Meanwhile, Dendi is just cleaning house. EGM comes on the right side, trying to help this out like Hiroki gets picked off. Flame break on Juri. Funnix trying to survive. Sprout giving vision. And Ammo Bulldog trying to get a kill on Funnix. Firefly on the low ground. He's gonna be fine. He will have a blink dagger up very, very soon. Still Roshan stands. This time, Dendi wants to go in. While that's happening, Batrider's back to the pit. It's low. There's no black hole. Is there a way to steal this? S4 looking to leap. Rosh is low. Can he grab it in time? Dendi backs off. BKB's up on the backside. But it falls. But EGM will as well. And now, Roshan just with a sliver of HP. If Dendi gets this, if he gets this, they might not be able to stop him. Roche. TP back in here, any fascists? There's a stun on Dendi! Dendi's dropping low! Roshan! Roshan! S4 picks up the Aegis! Elias is still in game five! Absolutely, now Funnick in the jungle, continuing to farm, but here they go. They spotted him out. He's caught, he will be picked off! You move in a way that supports the Wisp, and now, well, they might catch this for. Oh, he's in trouble. It's not phase, not What a player! What a friggin' player! But Dendi's on the hunt. He's not giving up that easy. Oh, back off. Now, they found S4. He's the key to their success in these fights, and he does die. He's got a buyback, but it's too late. Roche is dead. Puppy moving forward. Aegis to Navi, and now it's time to see what they're really made of. They're pushing in mid, and they may just force the high grounds. We split push coming in from Ammo Bulldog trying to pressure top. I don't, I don't know if it's, it's fast not, enough, it's though. Tier 2 is going to drop in the melee very quickly. I think Navi, they want to go high ground. They see the victory. They need to claim it. 33 seconds. If they can force I saw a buyback from Pug. That's an extra. There's a buyback. There you go. They back. They're sticking around mid. They really want to fight. They're going to stay on the high ground. They pop the mech. There's their trap. Deployed. Meanwhile, the Alliance pushing the top lane, pushing the bottom lane, but the tier 3 mid falls. Navi going for the mid rex, dropping it fast. Alliance, no sign of wanting to defend. S4 is here. Ake baits out a stun. Navi not finishing the racks yet, but they've lifted S4. He just bought back. If he dies, that could be game. Blinks away. They take the racks. All TP. TP quick right now. S4 is going to try to cancel as many as possible. He'll cancel three. My god. Funnick's going to try to TP, but he's going to defend against every. Everybody. Meanwhile, Loda working on the melee racks on the bot. Reality rip. Oh, Funnick, you are getting stopped hard. He's gonna get back out for the racks in huge trouble. They will defend. They will Alliance defend. out maneuvering. Navi have almost taken Bar -Rax, two Bar -Rax, Bar -Rax, Loda, come back That's in. That's two. That's Karoki. He's dead. Karoki's down. Oh, Loda. Alliance. The team in the north. Ball, the hexes of Funnick. Funnick's gonna go down as well. Oh my god, Alliance! They're doing it! The Alliance is doing it! Two lanes of rats! It's so hard to come back now. Navi, oh, they've got an agent. Yet. We'll see Sloda. Can you drop that stun? Oh, BGM. BKB! BKB! TP. Oh my god! EGM's gonna try to TP as well. We need a Malifus. We will get a Malifus.
Kanabi cannot make any more mistake this game. Hopefuls, in this on the mid lane, he says, can we get something going? They're going to load it now, load oh, out. No BKB this time. He's dropping fast. There's a black hole from Rummy. No, there's not. It's on cooldown. Unable to use it. Loda low, Armlet toggling on. He's still got BKB. He's baiting this with buyback. EGM's low. EGM, not dead yet. Loda standing strong. And Blake Sonic caught by the tether stun. He might end up being in trouble. EGM running, but will get caught. Loda as well. Do Navi go thrown? Do they do it right now? Is it all in? They don't have enough time to throw him right now. Keep in mind that Admiral Bulldog crushing in the bottom lane as well. Navi, I think they have to back off. No, they said we want to go in. But both no BKB. Nice goal set for blocking the stun. But he gets left in. EGM. Oh no. Akin, you draw. Oh, what a crit. Dandy on low. But it's Bulldog going for the throne. There's no glyph. They must oh, have been. That's far. That's far. He's going to try to he will make it there, but again, Bulldog trying to get the racks. Puppies here, he's got to drop Malefice, but he has to respect the Hex as well. Admiral Bulldog could just hex him and kill him. EGM, he's still alive. He's baiting them all. Bulldog still working on those tier four towers. Alliance losing two, but they get one. Gem hits the deck. Still, the creeps pushing in. The base might soon fall. It's coming down to the wire. Bulldog, cat and mouse with puppy. The tier four is in jeopardy. Navi running out of options. It's a Necro 3. It's all in on the push. Oh my god, Brax is gonna go down. We're gonna see a TP from Dendi, and that will drive. Emerald Bulldog out of the base. Meanwhile, you see Hobo still trying to run every buyback being spent on both sides. But look at the damage he did. That's the last tier four. The weight of the throne is now open. Admiral Bulldog, Alliance, they find a pick up as well. They found a both. He BKBs. Does he get out in time? No Chris. No Chris. He will live. Oh, my Navi, they, they can, I, they're out of options here. They gotta force a fight and take Rax very soon. They're not gonna win in a war of split put. Ace. Meanwhile, slow, steady siege. Two TPs drawn back. This throw. Oh, one armor. micro kills the gem. A little bit of extra gold. There's perhaps smoking in the lane and start a fight there. And if Alliance decides to throw, actually, you travel back. Hard to say though, here we go. Could be a huge class in the river. Oh, okay, Blake, okay. Blake Malefice as well. He will get caught, he has buyback. It's a Crystal Maiden down, but the push comes top. It's a nice pick for Navi. It's not enough to they, put they this can. game in the grasp. They can't rush, they can't rush. They don't have enough damage. They don't have enough time. Oh, cancel TP! He's, oh, he canceled the beat for me! Puppy, he's not gonna be back he's in the base! He's got BKB, but no boots of travel! Royal on oh, two! Cancel Dendi's TP as well! Now they on the Phonix! Phonix caught! Now if they go for the throne, it could be game! Phonix down! Alliance are doing it! They need a little more! The most to fall! Stone in jeopardy! There's a glyph! It could be their last stand! Dendi's back, he's gonna try to focus everybody, but there's so much stuff! Hitting the on the throne, run. there's no more glyph available! Down to a half HP, a quarter HP, Alliance surrounding from all sides! BKB, they want this throne! They're gonna do it! They're gonna the do it! The Alliance north. wins! The they win TI3! The Alliance just won! One point four million dollars! They are your international three champions! They have taken home the first ever international for the Swedes.
Congratulations. I think I can speak for everyone watching at home and everyone in the audience when I say we were all having heart attacks for that entire last, I don't know, 20 seconds. How do you feel right now? Uh, it's hard to describe. I, I just can't believe it. Uh, I, 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 I don't have no words. Talk to me about the moment you knew you had grabbed the game back. Oh, sorry. Tell me about the moment you knew you got the game back. Oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, to beat Navi 3 to 2, oh my god. <laughs> We, we never knew when they, we got the game back. It was so close. We were, oh my God. Oh, I can speak. What, what do you have to say to these guys who really put up uh, a couple of really great games? A big thank you to Navi. Uh, they are great, great players and persons. Thanks to all the fans, the audience, all the Dota players for making this possible. Thank you. Thank you.